Hey, hey, how's it going? What do you say today we learn a really fun kind of one guitar strumming version of the hit song Baker Street by Jerry Rafferty. And this is from his second solo record, City to City, in 1978. And the song is in standard A440 tune. Go ahead and tune your guitars low to high E, A, D, G, B, and E. And the song's about 114 beats per minute and it's in 4-4 four, four time. I'm going to take you through all the song parts and I'm also going to show you those really cool saxophone licks uh, that come in in the intro and later on in the song. I'm going to transcribe them for guitar. They're a lot of fun to play. And if you're having some trouble with the bar chords in this lesson or changing from the bar chords to open chords, I could really help you with that. Click on the link in the YouTube description box below and I'll send you a killer free video lesson. It's extended play and it's not on YouTube and it has my best bar chord technique tips and also bar chord exercises that will really blast your bar chord playing and changing to the next level. I'll pair it with an ebook which has more chord charts in it, more exercises, more lessons. So you get both the video lesson and the ebook and I'll send them both to you for free. Just click below. So the song starts off with this little keyboard thing and then there's uh, you'll hear some guitar that's kind of buried keyboard and then the sax part comes in, right? So let's take it in sections. Let's uh, and we'll take a few liberties here because obviously we don't have that kind of instrumentation. We don't have the bass and the drums and everything so we're going to kind of I got it kind of worked out for like a strumming version for one guitar. So let me play you the intro first, play you the whole thing, and then we'll go over the saxophone licks on guitar, and then we'll get into the first verse. All right, so here's the intro. Does that three times. Last one. Okay, so it's a long intro, but there's a lot going on there um, because the, the saxophone solo comes in on top of that, right? So let me show you the chords first. Song starts with that keyboard, and I'm just playing an A7 suspended fourth, A7 sus4 chord. Kind of let it ring, or you can do a little bit of strumming. Then you just take this shape, same exact shape, and just slide it down to the first fret because it goes to that F7 sus4. And then you go up a whole step to G7 sus4, and that on the G you stay on for two measures. So it's like this, and he does that three times. So it's like A7 sus4, F7 sus4, G7 sus4, and you stay in that G7 sus4 twice, and then he repeats it. Does that three times. Now the third time, when you get to that G7 sus4, the second measure. That's when the saxophone solo comes in on that D. Um, but what I did there was I just, you know, did like a down, down, up, up, down, up, and then to build it up, one and two and three and four and straight eighth notes, down, 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 down. Okay, and then into uh, the part with the sax solo. So those chords are D major, and that's when the saxophone solo comes in, and it's going to be down, 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 up, down. Get that down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, down. We're gonna use that strum or a piece of it for a lot. So you go D, and then you go to the F, down, down, up. It's just a down, down, up on the F. And you use that like in transition, and then he repeats that again, D and F. F, down, down, up. Now this time you go to a C, down, down. Part of the strum. Down, 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 up, down, up. So C, down, 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 up, down, up. And then you're going to go to that A7 sus4 again, but this time we'll just play this open voicing. Right? It's very similar to this guy. A little different timbre because of the open strings, but it's easier to get you from the C because you can just drop that third finger down. 
to the B string, right? And on that C chord, uh, you're doing that down, 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 up, down, up, and an A7 sus4, down, 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 up, down, up, and then you go to a G chord, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, twice on the G. And then it goes back and it repeats the whole thing again. So repeating that progression slow. Okay, and then it goes to your first verse. And now what we'll do is, because when it goes to that first D is the sax solo, so let's go over the saxophone lick. And hey, if you could do me a huge favor, please subscribe to the channel. You know, subscribing to the channel, that really helps me to keep bringing the content. And please ring that subscription bell, because then you'll be notified when I have new lessons posted. Also, leave me a comment below. Let me know how you like this lesson. Let me know what lessons you'd like to see in the future. And if you like this video, please smash that like button. Give it a thumbs up, share it, and thank you so much for your support. So this is saxophone arranged for guitar. Think of it in four licks. I'm going to play the whole thing for you and then I'll go back and break it down. Very trademark, so you'll recognize it. It's the first one. It's the second one. Third one. And then they repeat it. And it starts over again. So let's break those sax licks down. He plays those four licks two times around, um, and he does it again after the first chorus. There's an instrumental section, same chords, uh, and he does the sax lick again. Um, and here's the lick one. Okay, so 10th fret B string, 13th fret high E, 12th fret high E, 10th fret high E, 13 B, 10 high E with vibrato. So here it is slow. Here's the second lick. You do the same exact thing, except you end it on the 10th fret on the B string. So it's uh, 10th fret B, 13, 12, 10, high E, 13 B, 10th B. Here's the first two together, slow. Third one starts off the same way again. This time you stay on that C note on the 13th fret B string to the 10th fret uh, a B string, right? And then here's the last lick. Again, it starts off the same way. Okay, so that lick, 10th fret B, 13, 12, 10, same thing on the high E, then 13 B, 10 high E, 12 high E, 10 high E. Here's all four together slow. Put that vibrato in there. So now you have the intro down, you have the sax licks down, verse one, winding your way down Baker Street. Let me show you one way you can play it, and I'll show you an easier way too. I'll show you a couple different ways. Here's the verse, I can't sing that high, because uh, it's kind of high, but I'll kind of talk you through it. It'll sound like this. Winding your way down on Baker Street, life in your head, and dead on your feet. Well, another crazy day, Drink the night away. that chorus section you think that it was so easy okay so basically you're playing an A major chord quite a bit uh, it's basically you're playing that four times around or uh, four measures um, you could do a few different strum patterns a very basic easy one and you could just strum it I was using that rhythmic chucking to give it a little extra something because it's just one guitar but you could just do this strum pattern down down up up down up right um, if you want to do the chucking, down, chuck, the second down, I do that muted downstroke where I'm catching the strings with the side of my palm at the same time the pick is hitting the strings. Right? And that's all with open chords with that pick can. So you do down and then a down chuck. Same strum pattern, you're just adding the chucks in. Up, up, and then another down chuck, up. So slow. that hand 
hand on there and you gotta kind of go for it it's a technique where you just can't you know lollygag it you gotta kind of when was the last time you ever heard someone use lollygag in a sentence uh, you gotta kind of go over throw that hand down on a, on the strings and hit that with the pick hard right another thing you could do if you want to add a little interest is you can make an a sus4 chord by adding your pinky to the D note on the B string on and off. That's kind of a nice thing to add in uh, when you're doing the chucking, winding your way down on the finger street. See how I throw that in there? Left in your head and get on your feet. See, so you kind of pepper that in. So you play your A, right, for your four measures. So you got no souls taking you so long. You go to an E minor for one measure, to a G, find out you were wrong. Uh, when you thought about everything the second time through because it basically does the same progression twice D major and you do the D major for two measures and again you could just strum it when I was playing I was adding embellishments on the D I was like adding that D sus4 kind of hear that on the record too you can even add that D sus2 by lifting your first finger off with that open high E the D sus4 adds that G note pinky on the third fret high E string so I'll just go through the progression once time slow. He does it twice. I'll do the chucking. It'll sound like this. Four times on the A. I'll slow it down a little bit. That's two, three, four, D e minor, G, D e twice. Okay, here how that little embellishments add a lot of interest. So that's the verses. There's two verses in the song. They're both the same, and that goes into the chorus. You used to think that it was so easy. You used to say that it was so easy. Let me play you the chorus. It'll sound like this. Um, so I'll come right off of that D chord in the verse. goes back into the instrumental solo uh, section and then the sax solo repeats again just like we did in the intro. All right, I, I, I kind of sang along to it to kind of give you an idea where uh, the chords change with the lyrics. My apologies, I can't sing that high. So for the chorus, you're gonna play a D minor seventh chord. And for this again, you could use down, down, up, up, down, up. And you could strum it or you could do it with the chucky. You know, whatever you want. So you play a D minor seven, and then he goes to, I uh, used to think that it was so easy, you go to A minor. Now on the A minor, he's embellishing it by adding an A suspended second by taking off your first finger. And again, you could use the same strum pattern. Down, down on the A minor, take your first finger off, up, up on the A sus two, and then put your first finger back, down, up. See, it's the same down, down, up, up, down, up pattern, you just, kind of peppering in that sus2. So it's down, down, up, up, down, up. And that's on, used to think that it was so easy. Right, and then you repeat that, D minor seven. So easy. And then you're trying, you go to C, and you're back to that down, down, up, up, down, up. You can do it with the chucking if you want, to G, trying. Now D, and you do that D twice. You can pepper in the embellishment, sus2 and sus4 if you want. And then you repeat most of that progression again. D minor 7th, another year, and then you'll be happy with the suspensions on the A minor. D minor 7th, one more year, and then you'll be happy. Again, same thing, C, or crying G, or crying, but this time, crying now it goes to an A for one measure. And then F for one measure. And on that F chord again, we build it up again just like we did in the intro one and two and three and four and straight eighth notes, all downstrokes, because after that chorus, he 
build that into that D chord for the um, instrumental part where the sax solo is. And that's that half of the intro progression. So um, I'll play that instrumental so where the sax solo comes in again. And again, that's where you would... That's where it comes in with that those sax licks. The second time through the chorus, I'll take that right into the instrumental so you can hear how they connect. It'll sound like this. So you just repeat that same progression twice. So you heard me run chorus one right into the instrumental section, right? And that instrumental section with the sax solo, it's the same progression as in the second part of the intro. And then the second time when he does it, the F goes back into the way down the street, his light in his place, into verse two, which goes into chorus two. And then after that second chorus, the song goes into the outro, which is instrumental, where there's a really cool guitar solo, but they add back in like in the intro, you're gonna play those bar chord, those seven sus four chords, right? Um, and then it plays that D, uh, like we did in the intro and in that um, instrumental break, that progression. And then the song kind of fades out. And that's all the parts. Hope you enjoyed that one. Really fun tune to play on solo acoustic guitar. Most people know that one, right? Fun to play those little sax riffs too. Hope you enjoyed that one. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. That really helps me to keep bringing the content and ring that subscription bell. Uh, and then you'll be notified when I have new lessons posted. And also click on that link in the YouTube description box below and get my free video lesson and ebook on essential bar chord playing and changing technique tips and exercises. It's really cool. It'll really help you along in your guitar journey. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support over the years and years. So appreciate it. Stay tuned because I got tons more killer content and lessons coming up. Keep up all that hard work on those guitars. Keep having fun with them. And remember, your guitar playing is an evolution. So enjoy the journey. See you in the next lesson. Take care and rock on. Yeah.